Welcome or welcome back to Watch Advisor on YouTube. It's Alexander speaking, your host, and the star of this hands-on video is the Longin Heritage Military Marina Nationale. Don't forget to subscribe and to hit the bell to get our latest notifications. The Longin in your picture with this uh, cognac leather strap has a diameter of 38.5 millimeters and it is a watch that is a kind of a remake of a watch that Longin initially uh, presented in 1947. So whilst you are watching the first pictures of the watch I've been filming, so the original watch uh, is a cold reference 5774 and it was a watch that had a diameter of only 33.5 millimeters. So Longin slightly increased the size a little bit. I don't think that it would have been possible to sell such a watch with a diameter of 33.5 millimeters. No, I don't think so. So 38.5 is the actual size. Um, it was in a year when Longin uh, sold the watch to the French Navy, a watch that was fitted with the manual winding 12.68N caliber, a movement that was used uh, widely at Longines at that time being for military and civilian pieces in the years 1940 to 1950. It had a sixth notched case back as the one you see in front of you that does also have this kind of a closed case back, so it's not an open case back. And with the letters MN for the French word Marine Nationale, along with the issue number. I will show you the case back of the new one, of course, just in a second. A very particular thing is that wording on the die, you probably, you are aware of it. It says uh, Longine. And then underneath you see FAB, Swiss, and that's the abbreviation for Fabriqué en Suisse in French, meaning manufactured in Switzerland. And there's a little story I will tell you also a little bit later. As just mentioned, the watch has a diameter of 38.5 millimeters. The thickness of this watch with its huge crown I have been filming this crown in different angles so you will be able to discover it. With the huge crown, the thickness is 12.3 millimeters. The watch features a box sapphire crystal with several layers of anti-reflective treatment on the inner side and the so-called lug to lug distance. So the distance from one end of the lug to the other lug and is 49 millimeters. This is an information you always want to have to uh, figure out if the watch would fit on your wrist. So I just mentioned it before, closed case back. Also here, it's a closed case back with several engravings. We're going to go through all those in a while. So let me now talk about the dial. It is a sandblasted golden beige kind of color. You will be able to discover the color under different light conditions as you already seen it in the first pictures we showed you. So it really depends on how the light and what type of light is falling on the dial and it is changing its color from, yeah, diff it's a different shades of, of yellow, I would say. And interesting is also to mention that those hands that appear black now in your pictures are blued. They are blued hands, but you really need to get that particular angle to show that. It's not easy, you can see it here. Um, I'm creating um, yeah, some reflections uh, where, you, where you can clearly also see mirroring my lights here. Um, then you can see that those hands are really blue and not black. You see that? It's, yeah, you need to really have the good angle, the right light, and then you see they are blued. And if light falls on it, as it does now without reflections, then those hands appear black, but they are not, of course. And this is one of the particularities of this Longin Heritage Military Marine Nationale. Thank you. 
Look at this really huge crown in relation to the size of the case. Um, these are the pictures I can present you here from the studio with the studio lights. You can see that when I turn it around, that's really big. And uh, yes, of course, we filmed this crown. I filmed this crown in different light conditions, so please just have a quick look. And whilst you are watching those pictures, let me now tell you the case is waterproof 30 meters. And now if you ask yourself, oh, 30 meters, that's probably not enough. I do agree with you that uh, for a watch that is being manufactured today, it could have been better. But um, the French Navy, when they ordered uh, the watch from Longin. They defined the watch to be a watch that is used in shallow waters for operation in shallow waters and it was one of the specifications the French Navy gave to Longin that the watch should be precise. Yes, of course, that's one of the most important things, but should have a waterproofness or water tightness of 30 meters. So it was used for shallow waters that's clearly in the archive. So this was never a diver. So if you heard anything that this is a diver, no, it was not. It was a watch being used in shallow waters. And yes, Longin stayed loyal, if you want, <laughs> to those 30 meters from the past. But I would have given this watch 50, 60 or some more meters to make it, yeah, a watch that is maybe more easily to be used in uh, daily life. This is the case pack of the Longines Heritage Military Marine Nationale. Let's quickly compare it once again to the case pack of the watch from 1947. You can see that there was this MN Mike November abbreviation for Marine Nationale on it. And on the new watch, you have a little bit more of information. So you have the Longines Heritage Military Marine Nationale, you have uh, reference number, serial number, uh, all stainless steel, water resistant, Swiss made. And this is an interesting thing that really gives you some information about the movement. This S stands for silicon hairspring. Bravo, Longin, bravissimo, really well done. Uh, the watch is powered by the Calibre 888.5. That's a um, better technical, much better technical version of the former 2892, ETA 2892. As I just said, here you have it as silicon hairspring, um, 25,200 uh, semi-oscillations per hour for the balance wheel. Uh, these are three and a half hertz, 64 hours of power reserve. And as I just said, a silicon hairspring, and this makes the watch also quite anti-magnetic and ready to use in modern circumstances. And here you have the little flaw, oh flaw. Let's say something that could have done better, the three bars indicated for three, uh, 30 meters of waterproofness. I really like the huge crown on that small, let's say, yeah, it's a small case, 38.5, that's not huge. Uh, I like this extraordinary big crown and on the crown you have the winged hourglass, the logo of Longin, so you can nicely see it. It's a little bit difficult to show it um, under these light conditions. I have to find the right angle, but I think you know the logo and what it looks like as an hourglass and the hourglass on the left and right side of it has two wings so that's why they call it the winged hourglass. The watch is sold with that cognac brown leather strap with a stainless steel pin buckle and uh, if you are thinking about probably exchanging the strap this uh, distance in between the locks is 19 millimeters. 19 millimeters and let me now Turn the watch around and you can see, so this is that nice cognac colored strap. Again, that dial, sand blasted, golden beige. They call beige. I would say it's, yeah, beige, sun. It's a sun, sandy color. 
appearing differently depending on the light and uh, yeah, are falling on it. And then again, the nice cognac brown strap with the stitching right in your camera here. Nicely done, looking good, vintage look on this Longe military watch. It's supposed to be a watch used, as I said before, and in shallow of waters for special operations of the French Navy. Now I would like to attract your full attention on what is written on the dial. You see the word Longin and underneath uh, the abbreviation FAB. That's not fabulous or something uh, like this. That means Fabrique Suisse. Fabrique Suisse, French word for manufactured and Switzerland. And I've been doing some research, I'm curious, I googled the watch, etc. And then I, I tumbled on the Watch Pro site. And um, the Watch Pro site uh, yeah, tells a funny story about the watch from um, 1947, the reference 5774, where they say um, it was mandatory to uh, watches that were sold in, in France. They, it was mandatory to ensure the consumers that uh, they would not be misled into believing that the product, in this case the watch, Frenchly sounding name Longine, yes, Longine is uh, something French, yes, I would say, um, that the watch had not been produced in France. So it was prohibited, and now the, I quote, it was prohibited to import into France any product whose brand, name, sign or mark could mislead the consumer in the sense that it could be understood as having been produced in France, whereas it was not the case. <clears throat> this is a theory, could be, can be, um, but I personally think um, it's only the half of the truth. I still believe that the watchmakers manufacturing this watch were very proud to be Swiss and to work in Switzerland. And it's also therefore they clearly marked on it Fabriqué en Suisse and not Fabriqué en France. Uh, that's my two cents to the little story I've just been telling you. The watch weighs 72 grams, including the strap. I also have some Super Luminova on the dial. What do you think? Yes, there is some. Please have a look. We can now right away enter a discussion. Is it really uh, good to put this uh, kind of uh, full, um, yeah, super luminova, this super luminova that doesn't look like super luminova because it, because it has been colored. But um, yeah, and now I ask you, um, would you want to see green, white, uh, kind of a super luminova on a dial, on a watch that clearly is a kind of a remake, a reinterpretation of a watch? from 1947, I would not want to do it, uh, to see it. So I can live with it. And you just saw the night shot or the dark shot. So it is good, you have readability when it is dark and still it looks like a vintage watch. And this I think was the purpose of doing it and any discussion, is it good or not good? Can they, should they, should they not? Okay, yeah. Use the comment section if you have an opinion to that. I would say it's okay. To underline the extraordinary quality Longin delivers these days, I want to show you something that is obvious that I had to show it. There's a huge crown. As you can see, the crown is really huge on that pretty small case, 38.5 millimeters. And one would expect if you pull out such a crown that it would feel a little bit shaky or not as stable since to the size, weight, etc, uh, etc. Et but no, nothing. This is really, <laughs> if you would have a solid piece of metal in your hand that is by coincidence also connected to the entire watch, there's nothing shaky here. Um, the haptics are sensational. 
And believe me, this is something that is very hard to manufacture. That's not a coincidence. This was done by purpose, engineered, that costs money. And I have, in my career, been holding so many watches in my hands with tiny little crowns. And then you do that thing I always do. I pull out the crown and then I say to myself, no, that can't be the case. Come on, guys, you can do that better than this. And now look, this is really huge. The crown is, yeah, it's oversized, literally. And you pull it out and it feels like it was solid, wonderful quality. Same, of course, I just mentioned before, to the movement, the 888.5 automatic movement with a silicon hairspring. So that's really, you get value, value for money. The haptics are sensational. Everything on that watch is really as it should be. And you pay 1,900 euro, including 20% VAT here in Austria for the watch. So this is really an offer, I have to say. You have to really think twice. If you like the kind of vintage models, if you're into smaller watches, 38.5 is a good size for many of you. you some of you have been complaining about um, companies, uh, manufacturers making two, uh, two big watches. 38.5, nice size, vintage look. A yellow that will shine, appear in different shades uh, depending on the light falling on it. And uh, yeah, 1,900 euros. A good offer in my, in, uh, my humble opinion. Um, yeah, let me already say goodbye. Please use the comment section of uh, YouTube to um, yeah, ask me questions or express your personal opinion on this Longines Heritage Military Terry Marine National Watch and yeah stay tuned and uh, we are going to be back very soon with our next video and um, yep stay safe and sound and bye bye for now